So let's talk about our file system. So whenever we add something into a scene, we then see it pop up over here in our objects. And then we also have settings down here in the attributes inspector and that allows us to manipulate our object. So if I just click on a cube here, you can see that the cube is now in my objects and down here in the attributes, I have options. So we still have size, so I can go in and change this. So let's say I've said 400. And a lot of times in 3D, mostly, unless you're working on like a AAA game, you're doing things in centimeters. And that's just the default game engine, 3D software uh, default that you want to use. So we have to think of things in centimeters. I think roughly like 28.6, don't quote me on this, is equal to a foot. Uh, 26 centimeters is equal to uh, one foot, I believe. Um, but that's the way it works. And we can go in and change these. So I can go in and type any number I want. I'll say 500. You can see that it gets manipulated on that axis. Now we'll talk about segments here and what that actually does a little bit later but think of it like cutting a, a pizza and we can slice sort of our 3d geometry so that's more fluid when we go in and try to animate it so that that's one way that we can do this and we're going to end up going into a lot of these different attributes as we go in and start working with different objects and different things like cameras and lights so that's a way. Now let's take a look down here. This is our timeline. And like I said previously, this is from 0 to 90. That means 90 frames. So we know we're in 24 frames. So that means this is roughly around 3, three to 4 seconds, right? And that's uh, the way that we have to sort of uh, think about this. All right. And then down here, we have our materials. And we'll go deep into this, but if I want to just make a material, I can double click down here and you'll see a material node pops up and then we go into that. But this is something that we'll get into a lot deeper. And last, what we haven't talked about is over here. These are our different model modes. Now I'm not going to go through all of this because we'll end up hitting this in detail as we keep going through but for now we want to always make sure that we're in model mode because we can go in and scale our objects and we can manipulate them in the same way that we've been doing so far but later on as we get more detailed and we start wanting to really define our 3d models we have different modes of doing that so you'll see that we have this points mode and that means anytime two lines intersect which is here 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 and we can manipulate those points we have line mode and those are just lines so here 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 those are all lines and then we have the polygon mode or what some 3d model journalists would call face mode and that means this whole sort of side here we can start to manipulate that where we can start let's say we're creating a window we could go in and we can manipulate the faces where we can bring them in, bring them out, pull them out, pull them in, whatever we want to actually do as we manipulate this object here. All right. And then we have UV mode and we'll talk a little bit more about this, but that is for whenever you're adding materials and a material is sort of like a carpet. So if I wanted to, um, create a carpet, right? I would take a picture of my carpet, and that would be stored as a texture. So the picture is a texture, and then we can go into the material editor, and we can go in and create a real material. But we end up having to create what we call UVs. And this isn't meaning anything now, it's okay. But what we wanna do is make sure that that texture is seen properly and that it looks natural. And that's what that is for. And then next we have our enable axes. And that pretty much allows us to move our pivot point so if I wanted to move this over here 
I could. I don't want to do that now because I want to keep it directly in the center. And we won't worry about these viewports right now or anything down here because uh, we're not really ready for that. But that is the interface. That's how we move. We know how we can add objects into our scene. So now what we're going to do, we're actually going to go in and start really playing with some of this stuff.